Hey, March. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So we're going to have a little chat about mentoring, and you've got a beautiful definition of what mentoring is. You want to share that? I would love to. Mentoring is a reciprocal learning relationship which a mentor and mentee agree to a partnership where they work collaboratively toward the achievement of mutually defined goals that will develop a mentee's skills, ability, knowledge, and or thinking. And I thought that Excellent. pretty much covers it. <laughs> it does indeed. It does indeed. So can you talk a little bit about your mentoring practice, how you work with trainees and graduates from trainings and usher them along to become well-established filling grace practitioners? What I've done is I, in filling out my profile on the Guild's website, there's a place where if you're interested in mentoring, you can put it down and you can describe what kind of mentoring you would like to do. And so I was contacted by people and we have set up a little mentoring session where we're going to be doing a series on working on the skills they'd like to further develop. And with one person, I have been meeting her. I've met her about four or five times. First couple times, just to see if it was a good match and if she felt as though she would be able to work with me. Mm -hmm. Because it, it really has to be one of trust and one of where you feel that you can uh, work with the person. So I feel it's a, a very much a an exchange of knowledge. And I think both the mentor and the mentee learn a lot. The mentor gets to understand more fully their own process how they've done things. And when they hear something else, they have the opportunity to learn perhaps another way as well. So do you work primarily in groups? I work with a single person and I'm going to work with group. One of the beautiful things about working with a group is that now we have more sets of eyes and it gives an opportunity for people to see something different. Can you speak a little bit more about how you honed in on what somebody's skills they need to develop? Well, I think that when you're in a training, at least my own experience is this, that you get so much information. And when you begin to work with people hands-on, you've got all this information and it's hard to remember it all. The, the mentoring process is helping people to further integrate yeah. what they got in their training and bring it into their practice. Right, exactly. Reminding them that they have a tool that they maybe forgot about. How do you observe your client when you first see them? How do you ask questions? How do you structure your fees? Do you charge for the service? How I've organized it is that initially I work with somebody for free for both our benefits to see if we're a good match. And I tell them, I don't take it personally. If you feel that we would not be a good match, it's okay. And also, then I try, because the people I'm working with are trainees, I try to come up with a reasonable fee. Why do I come with a fee? I think a fee makes you participate more, makes you make sure you get your money's worth and keep everybody honest, both me mm -hmm. and themselves. I use a sliding scale on everything. And... I want this work to get out there, and I want people to be able to provide lessons that are beneficial to their clients. Yeah. And if I can be some way a support for them doing that, that benefits me as well. Because Absolutely. when we have good practitioners and people are learning about the method, and they're realizing this is a very useful thing, so you can do what you want in your life. That's right. That's the bottom line, isn't it? It really is. For practitioners who want to start mentoring practice, may they reach out to you and contact you and get support from you? Absolutely. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, March, for taking some time to talk to me about this. Thank you, Al. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.